Hello, I'm Karen Hefner, DSS Supervisor. We serve over 600 meals to our homebound customers. That is our day-to-day -day delivery that we actually take meals out to the, the homebound customers. And I don't think Mecklenburg County residents realize that this program is here for older adults. How you doing, Mayor? And how are you, Robin? I'm doing good. The other part of that program, and we started it a little over a year ago, is working with the Charlotte Fire Department and also the County Fire Marshal's Office. We go into each customer's home and evaluate their needs for a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide detector. And that's been a real, real valuable asset to me and our agency because it helps protect our customers. We want to make sure that the customers are safe in their home. And we want to, to provide every resource that we can. Hi, I'm DSS Supervisor James Johnson. We had a client come in expressing concerns about uh, depression and she had hearing loss. She wasn't able to find a job due to her hearing loss and said that she actually wanted to end her life because of that. We contacted Mobile Crisis because of that concern, got her stabilized, and we were able to even after that go out and assist her with getting the hearing aid so that she could find her job after we got her stable and she was ready to find employment. You know, I think we were able to help her take care of her family. She felt proud of what she was doing, so, you know, it's a win-win for everyone. Hi, I'm Yolanda Griffin, DSS Manager. I received a call from a customer in reference to a medical application for his wife who was pregnant in a high-risk pregnancy. Unfortunately, he had lost his job and their medical coverage was terminated. She was scheduled for a C-section a few weeks later, so we definitely had to do something to try to get that coverage in place for her. What we did is set up a phone interview to make sure that we could gather all the needed information. During the call, we found out that she was actually scheduled for the C-section now the next day. The worker was able to pull all the information together, get the case processed, and actually everyone received medical coverage. In addition to that, our staff was able to give food nutrition services and a food referral for the family. Hi, I'm Cortez Gilbert, DSS Social Worker. I got a case um, dealing with a child, a teenage child, who was having issues with his mother. Um, a lot of stuff was going on within the household, and so I decided to get the dad involved. Dad got involved, um, he decided that, you know what, there's been a lot going on, so he decided to come from Ohio to retrieve his child. Once he retrieved the child, things were growing pretty smooth. The mother and the dad had a law altercation, ended up in court. When it got to court, I decided, well, I want to be there to support both sides of the family. And when I got there, I supported both sides, and the judge decided the child needed to go back with his father. And as you know, in this field, a lot of fathers aren't as involved as we would like them to be, but this dad was. And so I felt special to connect the father to a child and see how, you see how excited he was to be around his dad. And it just, it just felt good for me. 